The next one, the turning arbor assembly, is actually a dimensioning exercise in Australian Standard Dimensions. And I didn't put it on, but I think a parts list would be good here. A um, materials list would be good here too, because we've got multiple um, materials. So I'm drawing this one back at a scale of one to one. Um, we can do either the assembly drawing first or the um, parts drawing. Do a parts drawing first. So fairly easy. For this, the arbor, the first one, part one. Just in a rectangle. And it's 56 by 32. Parts lists are component drawing is dimensioned. And then of course that I want a 12 mil offset coming out there and off that as well. I want, I might just redraw that. Just take that and let's just draw a rectangle around there and it's 12 by 40. Yep, done. Let's just select that and do delete that, delete that, delete that, and marry them up. Done. On this, I'm going to put in a center line. Done and okay. Inside this, there is once again a counter bore 24, so that diameter 24 by 7 deep, so it's 7 by 12. And that's a counter bore. That's not. There, that's not there. So there's our counter board, diameter 10 and a half by 40. Now, drill depth, 40. And 10 and a half, that's 5.25 radius is up. Let's have a quick look at what is needed. What I've actually just drawn here, is from there to there is 40. I'd actually move that 7 mil deeper. The distance from there to there is 40 mil. That's the depth of your hole. So let's clean this up. And on the end here, that sits at 60 degree angle. That is your that is the depth of the hole. Like so. Which if we're doing a half section you do see that. Okay, so that's a hole tap or drill on the diameter ten and a half by forty, tap it out to twelve, then I want six mil. And it's by 30 deep. So the offset, let's offset this line down 30 deep. That is indicating, let me delete, please. Okay. Now, this line here, I'll just change its line weight. That is indicating thread. That's saying it's threaded, and once again, you give it a lead in at an angle of 30 degrees off the horizontal. Done. And change its line weight again. Okay. So 
that is indicating that is an M12 thread that has been tapped 30 deep. That is a hole M12 times 40 deep. Depth of a hole is the full diameter depth. So the depth of that hole is not, not, not 43. The depth of the hole is 40. Then of course, because it's a sectional view, that's indicating a sectional view. That's your part drawing of this. And then of course, being a component, it's dimensioned. Parts drawings are so you can make the thing. Let's have a look at this. Yep, good, that's working. But from there to there, and I want a prefix of a diameter. So that I'm saying it's diameter 32. Lines I definitely don't need because that does not show in a sectional assembly. And that is a dimensioning line. Must be this one. Yep. Done. Okay. So that is a half section. This is the body of the turning arbor. A few key points. If I have a look at that depth of the hole, it says you need to count a bore 7. The diameter is there and I don't want a diameter on it. Count a bore 7, then it says the hole depth is 40. However, technically the 40 mil is drilled first. It's measured off that. That is the only way the entire assembly fits together. reason why I've intentionally chose this one is when I do a end view, it's just simply diameter 10.5. Let's see if that works. Then we do an arc of diameter 12. It's got to go three quarters of the way, then stop. And this is how you draw a thread form when you're looking at it on the end. That's the thread, that's the outside of the hole that you can see. So there's your thread form. We draw a 24mm hole. We also need a 40mm hole. Done. Now let's dimension this. Smart dimension, that is a diameter 40. Should be able to change that to be a horizontal coordinate. It's just irritating me. Technically, it's accurate. Okay, here's the last thing I've done. Um, so I've gone, I turned the page because so I forgot to hit record. And I've just put in a leader. Counterboard, diameter 24 down 7. Diameter 10.5, drill down 47. From the surface, M12 by 2 tap 30 deep, and then just to avoid confusion, I added the um, extra dimensions there, even though it wasn't necessary. But it's completely clear what needs doing now. Now I'll go on to the next part, which I've drawn up here, once again in half sectional view. So here is, um, looking at it, that's the nylon roller, diameter 50. But the only thing I do need to do is to call out diameter beforehand. So that says diameter 50 now. I'll just drag that line in a bit. And of course, being a sectional drawing. Yeah. So that's saying there's our fill. Diameter 50, and in here, let's just add that diameter as well. One, two, two. It should give me the diameter sign because it's all still in there. Again, and in here, we'll go all we need is a 6mm, without a diameter this time. 6mm. Final thing is I've just got to reset another dimension. From there to there. Late. Apply. There. So it's saying radius 6. I'd like it to say diameter 12. But Okay, 
done. Copy and paste. Approximately, let's clean that up. Third one. And let's just start naming them. Turning Arbor, and I'll put them here. Mild Steel. Nylon. Item 3 is the Mild Steel Spacer, which has got a chamfer on it. There's another new term. So, a chamfer. Let's just draw this in. Let's see if we get the right one. From there down to there to there. And it was 6 by diameter 40. So it's 6 by diameter 40. And same thing in the middle. Let's just add the um, half section again. From there, it's also a diameter 12 long, so I'll just align that. Done, and I'll just put the sectioning in. I'll change the angle to 45. Done. And I don't like this radius 6. I am actually going to clean that up right now by putting in another line. I'll just mark it out with a hidden detail which isn't normally done on a half sectional view but it is at the moment because I need to show a few feature and same thing half sectional and we go here now let's just add that diameter in diameter apply from there to there and Right click, properties, lines and coordinate. Point 0.6 times font size, done. And just for cleanliness, I'll just take that out just a bit. Done. And that's the same thing, diameter 12. Yep, that's good enough. I'm going to leave that diameter 12 there because it's obvious. From there to there is diameter 12. Done. Diameter 40. Actually, I'll leave that in there. I'll move things across in a sec. The other thing we have, it's a 2mm by 45 chamfer. Last time we had a fillet, which was the round, a chamfer is a rectangular or a um, triangular corner, a flat, flat facet cut off. So the setback A is 2, setback B was 2, and there it is. There, done. I'm going to just delete that extra stuff there I didn't need. So I'll delete the entire fill and I'll just refill it. No pun intended. Done. Now here we've got to dimension the fillet. We'll dimension that with a call out. I was just thinking how best to do it. 2 by 45 degrees. by 45 degrees okay good from there done so that's giving us that one I better put the chamfer on the other side Mark. so that there's essentially pretty well everything dimensioned now the last thing we've got is the bolt I'll just draw it down here then I'll just reorganize everything so it fits so there's extra space needed we'll select everything we'll just drag that down a bit now lastly we have the bolt 
and it's 30 by 30 so it's a 60 mil long bolt with 30 mil thread length so it's an m12 bolt let's have a quick look at drawing an m12 by 60 bolt m12 by 60 by 12 that's better and 90 degrees okay so it's m12 by 1.5 have i got an m12 by let me fix that 1.5 done okay now to get the head of the bolt let's just draw a, another rectangle 1.8 times diameter now the thickness of the bolt head is 0.7 times the diameter the diameter is 12 8.4 mil so half of 8.4 is 4.2 mil done i've still got that thing now it's fixed good now i've got that there let's go the rectangle that is its length that is 1.8 times 12 21.6 we're going to draw some flats approximately just inside it doesn't matter exactly where because your pen and pencil drawing for your engineering studies exam approximately it's 95 percent of the diameter but it doesn't matter as you know providing you've got features done approximately that's all they care about that's our bolt head drawn let's just try now exact just as an aside that's how far in i was so let's just move that down that is to there that one there is to there the distance from there to there 10.8 10.8 divided by 12 is there you go 90 percent not 95 percent now on this side i'm going to just offset a, this as a chain in 0.75 of a mil because our thread difference is 1.5 mil so inside done obviously that is deleted i'm going to select that because the thread depth is 30 mil i'm going to offset that back 30 as a single line done now let's just select all these and I'm going to change them to half strength lines and delete that. And put the lead in, in at about 30 degrees. 30 minus 30. That should be a faint line. I'll clean up the other one in a second. And Place that one and there's that one now as a half weight line and now let's just extend this out and we'll just put in now the end chamfer on the bolt there is our bolt finished drawing there Oops, control Z. Mass jammed, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, there is a bolt with 30 mil thread depth, 60 mil overall length. Remember, the thickness of the bolt head is 0.7 diameters. Let's just dimension up what needs to be done on that. So that's showing overall length of the bolt quite happily, and that's really it. 
It's obvious it's M12 because there's the thread there specified. There's the thread there specified. So that is basically the entire item. The third item text is a spacer. Mild steel. And the last one, I'm going to insult everybody's intelligence. That's just a bolt. I won't even put it in. I've spaced about appropriately. There's the turning harbour assembly all finished. Then I just realised it wanted an assembled view, so here goes nothing. I'm going to copy that from there to there. Let's just extend the centre line on a bit, just so I've got something to work off. Then I'll need to copy this from there. to there, done, then I'll need to copy this from there, try again, copy all of that from there to there, then lastly I need to copy this from there, because it's an assembled view, I only need the head of the bolt to there. And let's just clean it up and get it all good. There you go, one assembled view with one other missing line, which is the edge of the chamfer, just there. Done. Okay, that's the um, that's the turning arbor.